Welcome to IntelliHome Smart DIY, where we review smart home products, home automations, DIY projects, and other organization solutions. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the ways I utilize vibration sensors in my smart home. In particular, we're going to be talking about three unique ways that I utilize the Acara Smart Vibration Sensor. Watch until the end to figure out how you can get one of these from me for free. Number one, tapping a photo frame. In this automation, I tap on a picture frame to be able to enjoy my watches. In this automation, the LED lights in my watch safe turn on for two minutes. Smart plug that controls my watch winder turns off for five seconds, then turns on again to get all of the watches spinning. This is kind of a unique and impractical automation, but it's pretty fun and works pretty well with the Bloom watch safe. If you'd like to see a video on the Bloom watch safe, let me know below. Automation number two, kitchen bar top. I could utilize the Akara FP2 presence sensor using its zone technology to map out a zone and accomplish this by motion. However, I wanted to make sure that the lights only came on in this zone when we pulled the chairs out and sat down to eat. So I utilized four Akara vibration sensors placed under each bar stool. So if you pull out any of the stools, the lights above the kitchen bar turn on. This automation runs via Apple Home because at the time of setup, the Amazon Alexa app did not support vibration sensors. Now they do. So basically, if vibration is detected on any of the four sensors, lights come on for 15 minutes. The lights turn off after 15 minutes of no vibration. So even if you're sitting at the stool and moving around and having a meal for an hour, the light will remain on until there is no motion detected. Or vibration detected for 15 minutes. Automation number three, our breakfast nook. So similar concept right off of the kitchen. We've got our little breakfast nook, breakfast room, whatever you want to call it, depending on what part of the country you're in. So the thought process was to put a vibration sensor under the table so when you sit down to eat, the light comes on. Well, it's not quite that sensitive, so you actually have to pound the table for the light to come on. This actually works out pretty good because I'm convinced my son is a vampire. And he likes to do everything in the dark, including eating his breakfast. So he doesn't like that light on. However, if I sit there and I want the light on or anyone else else for that matter, you simply pound the table, the light comes on. And very similar to the bar stools, if there's no vibration detected for 15 minutes, the lights turn back off. So in addition to making it easy to turn lights on without having to walk back to a light switch, this actually helps us conserve energy because oftentimes Prior to these automations being implemented, uh, lights would be left on, someone forgot them, and they'd be on for hours at a time or overnight. This ensures that lights turn off when these areas aren't in use. As stated in previous videos, my vision of smart home nirvana is when everything just works, it's intuitive, you don't have to think about it, you forget that you even have smart tech in the house. Things just happen as they should, and these automations kind of fit that philosophy. Now I did mention that you'd have a chance to get this Arcara vibration sensor on the house from me. So simply comment below. Once I hit 20 comments and, uh, and at least 100 likes on this video, I'm going to randomly pick a user and go ahead and reach out to you directly and figure out where I can ship this thing to. And no, this is not a sponsored video, but Acara, I've got a small fortune worth of your products here. And if you'd like to reach out and sponsor a video, holler at your boy. So what ways do you utilize vibration sensors in your home? Comment below, let me know. Also, let me know what videos you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Catch you in the next one.